the search engine Google is showing this doodle in many countries for celebrating Nettie Stevens' 155th birthday. Nettie Maria Stevens was an early American genetist. She and Edmund Beecher Wilson were the first researchers to describe the chromosomal basis of sex, but both concluded their research independently. Nettie Maria Stevens grew up in America just after the Civil War. Beyond teaching, nursing, or secretarial work, little opportunity was available to women looking for a profession. Most simply hoped to marry well. Stevens, however, would not go that route. She was a teacher, but it was only a means to an end. Stevens wanted to be a scientist and worked her way through school, eventually reaching her goal and earning her place in the history of genetics. At age 39, Stevens began working as a research scientist, and the next 11 years would be the most productive of her life. Stevens was interested in the process of sex determination. While studying the mealworm, she found that the males made reproductive cells with both X and Y chromosomes, whereas the females made only those with X. She concluded that sex is inherited as a chromosomal factor and that males determine the gender of the offspring. At the time, chromosomal theory of inheritance was not yet accepted and it was commonly believed that gender was determined by the mother or environmental factors. Most scientists did not embrace Stevens' theory immediately. Her scientific career started late and ended much too soon when she died of breast cancer on May 4, 1912. However, in the intervening decade prior to her death, she had managed to contribute more to her field than many scientists have with much longer careers.